Uh, welcome to Sri Lanka Rugby TV. We have uh, here Max Woodbird uh, who represented uh, 15s for Hong Kong as well as 7s. He's the captain of the national 7s team in Hong Kong. Uh, great to have you with us today. I just want to get your thoughts on the tournament ahead. We have finished two legs of the tournament so far and this is the last and final leg of the Asian series. So what are your expectations and uh, thoughts going into this tournament uh, just ahead of the uh, Olympic qualifier next month? So uh, obviously a couple of good tournaments for us, reaching the final um, in Korea and, and winning China. So we put ourselves into a position where we're, we're top at the moment. So for us, it's about building, keep building momentum. Um, and like, I mean, every tournament we go into, our, our goal is to, to win the tournament. Um, so and to start off with, you know, we, we know it's it's a journey. You know, the five, the five games we've got to play are, are all equally as important. Uh, I, I know having been involved in the last few years, there's it's got to the stage where there's no no real easy games anymore um, so it's important for us to build build well game by game and uh, hopefully you put yourself into a position where you get into a final and uh, you have a chance to win the tournament. Uh, what would change in Hong Kong if you guys like successfully managed to qualify for the Olympics uh, in 2020 at, in Japan? I mean uh, Japan is already qualified as the host nation so what would change in Hong Kong rugby if you managed to qualify for that tournament? Yeah for us obviously that's huge uh, the Olympic uh, platform would be amazing for Rugby Sevens, I think, for us in Hong Kong. Uh, would be a cute, uh, you know, it's been hard work for a lot of us since 2015, and we, we missed out there against Japan in the final. Uh, and, and it would mean a lot for for rugby in Hong Kong, and, and just like being able to achieve that goal of playing in the Olympics as an individual as well as a team would be would be pretty special. Uh, so, as the captain, like I know, culture plays a main role in like uh, the success of the team. So, what it what, what is it like uh, being a Hong Kong national player? Like, what what is the culture like in the team? And how, as the captain, how do you enforce those good habits from like start? Yeah, so so Hong Kong being being at the place that it is, is we actually incorporate a lot of different sort of nationalities and things like that in the team. You know, like I, I, me, myself, I was born in Hong Kong. A lot of other guys were, were born in Hong Kong as well, but we have a few guys who are from New Zealand and things like that. But we, as a team, we, you know, we, whenever we play, we, we know we might not have like the sort of talent and the X factor that a lot of teams have. So for us, it's about building a culture and, and working hard for each other uh, and always, always fighting and always, uh, Go, you know, fighting for the, fighting to the death for 14 minutes, and that, that for us is, is our culture, really. You know, making sure every game we play the same. Every time we go out onto the field, we go hard, uh, and hopefully that breeds success. Uh, so, do you pre prefer playing 15th rugby or 7th rugby? What is your preference? Like, uh, how do you manage that that workload over the like during the year? Uh, personally, I, I definitely prefer 7s. Uh, over the years, it's got harder and harder to do both. I think uh, as the sport of 7s is become more specific. You see you see it a lot with other countries uh, really splitting their 7s and 15s programs and in Hong Kong we perhaps haven't had the players available to do that. Uh, we're starting to get that now which I think will be better because teams can concentrate on their own game um, but personally yeah definitely definitely 7s is is more more of a game that I enjoy just because you know the I love the tournament structure I love traveling I love playing different countries uh, and, and you get that a bit more with the sevens uh, setup. Uh, so last and final question just uh, want to know as a player do you think uh, you guys need to like I know that the World Series tournament is a separate category from the Asian series do you think the Asian teams need uh, more exposure in these top level tournaments to improve their rugby standards uh, and bridge that gap between that uh, level? Yeah, I mean 100% for us and for other teams in Asia, I, I know for a fact, like, we, we don't play enough rugby. You know, we come we come around, we play three Asian seven series tournaments, and that's pretty much it for the year in terms of sevens, you know? Um, so, yeah, there needs to be maybe a structure where we could play a bit more, a bit more games, uh, but I guess, and then hopefully then we improve and we can compete with the European teams that have traditionally been quite successful in the qualifier. Um, you know, however way we do that, I'm not sure. But I mean, the Asian series itself has got a lot better, for sure, with the the structure that it is now. Um, but like, yeah, I mean, the same with anything. Like volume trumps all, right? You gotta you gotta play as much as you can. Uh, so I just want to say thank you for your time. For thank you for being here and th thank you for sharing your thoughts. So all the best for the tournament. I will catch you.